Nestled in the pines of Tallahassee, Florida, is Springwood Elementary School. At first glance, it's like any other elementary school. But if you dig a little deeper at Springwood, you'll find out that there's something very different at this school and something that might surprise you. But before we get to that, you first need to meet the principal of Springwood Elementary, Dr. Christopher Small. But Dr. Small isn't just a principal. Both current and former students see him as more than that. That's like your father. That's He wants the best for you, even if you aren't his child, even if you aren't the same race. He, he like, goes around our class and look, and look at what we're doing and, like, what we're working on. Like, when I see him, sometimes he'll call me Gabe because my name's Gabriel, so he already knows my name, so. His relationships with students are true, they're pure, they're genuine, and they're heartfelt. I mean, some kids really, like, look forward to coming here because they know, they know they're gonna get love here. Like, really loved. He saw him as a friend, as a confidant, as someone that he could rely on and trust in. One of the first differences you'll notice at Springwood is how students begin their day. I am a student at Springwood Elementary School. After we do the Pledge of Allegiance, we stand up and then like, um, we don't sit down yet. We like say, we, we, we're still standing and we do the college creed. The decisions I made today will affect the rest of my life. When you listen to the words that the creed is saying. I am a student at Springwood Elementary School. I'm an intelligent and responsible student. Education is my ticket to success. It's telling you to be a leader, basically. Jaden took it to heart. Like, Jaden was a believer in, in their creed, if you will. Yeah, self-identification. Absolutely. Pledge. The creed speaks to their day-to-day -day affirmation of who they are, who they can be. He's explained to the students where that came from and they know that that's something that he wrote for himself. I had a mom who worked hard for a five, and she didn't have the time. So I became the big brother that reviewed and signed everybody's report cards. And I saw the impact that that had on my siblings. And so when I look at being at a school where I'm responsible for the lives of kids, <laughs> I write on every single report card that goes out. Every single one, every single nine weeks. And that's my job. But what might surprise you about this elementary school is that Dr. Small is preparing his students to go to college. It's something that starts from the moment you drive on the school grounds. When students and parents roll up to Springwood, you do see college prep or, you know, on our way to college. And that's just a mindset that we're instilling in these kids from the get-go. They call it college prep here. Like, they have the banners hanging. It's exciting. When Dr. Small came, it was just a difference. You could just see the difference. He was saying things about the college creed and going to college and these flags about college. I could, I could just be like, that's me, I'm gonna make my mom proud. I'm gonna go to college. They're trying to prepare us to go to college. Like in, like um, this year in fifth grade, we're learning how to do Cornell notes. The teacher will talk and we'll take down notes and bullet points. At the core of Dr. Small's college prep focus is a program called AVID. So what exactly is AVID? AVID is Advancement Via Individual Determination. The AVID program holds students accountable to high standards. It teaches organizational skills for the use of a binder, and the binder is like a detailed planner and manager for students. All kids have to carry the binders. They are the key to success. Um, I mean, I think about us as adults and our planners and our agenda books and how most of us can't live without them, and we're instilling those organizational skills in our kids early on. The AVID binder is just helping you stay organized, stay neat. They're not looking to see, oh, my homework is somewhere in here, let me fundle through the papers. It's, they're looking to see if you're gonna put your finger 
finger on that science tab, flip it, and produce that work. I think if I didn't have the binder, my papers would like just be stuffed in my um, backpack, so I'm glad I have my binder. That way I can keep organized. It's helped me with like keeping my stuff in one place and not losing things and keeping it all together. I mean, it just helped her organize her thoughts, what she wanted to do, where she wants to go in life. Um, it helped tremendously with him. But the Abbott program has done something on a deeper level at Springwood. It's created a culture where the students feel responsible for their own future. There's not going to be, always be Dr. Small or our principal or our mother telling us to do these things. So we have to want to do it for ourselves and know that it's a responsibility. So the AVID program should be in every school, I feel. The resources that I've been able to garner from AVID have allowed me to do even more um, with the leadership skills that I came with. It's enhanced. I think Springwood was headed in this direction and AVID is what pushed us and gave us a skill set that we needed to be this way. When I'm studying for a test, it actually taught me to, you know, this is your future. You're just not here to be here because your mom said, get on the school bus and go to school. I just want to say thank you to Dr. Small and all the teachers that impacted heaven here at Springwood. We have parents who sacrifice and will go without. And my mom is one of those also. <laughs> Went without <laughs> so I could have. And not every parent does that. She regrets not being able to provide certain things or not being able to have a degree, a college degree. I tell her her reward is, you have a son who has a PhD. It becomes our job to live out that dream that she has. And so that's what I pour into the kids. You're gonna be a living testimony to what your parents couldn't do. And that's a message that I, I, I push here. As a black or African-American girl, I was never told or I've never heard of my grandparents or my aunts or uncles finishing school. You know, it was high school and then they went to military or something like that. They never got college or the master's or bachelor's. So for Dr. Small to put this in my mind and make me actually think about it, I'm just like, wow. <laughs> Thank you.